Gerrit and I'm here with uh, Gover van Oort and Hans Rulofs from IXL. And IXL are highlighting the Nutripulse system, which is an innovative uh, cooking system, which is just being launched and is just being tested at a, a high with three Michelin star restaurant in, in the Netherlands. Um, can you begin first, Gover, by explaining what the technology is behind this and uh, how it can be used? Yeah. The technology is based on the fact that with high voltage electric pulses, we disrupt the cells of the food. So what you normally do by cooking, long time hot cooking, 100 degrees or, degrees or higher, we can do in a very short time by disrupting the cells. So this makes the food uh, digestible and uh, chewable, chewable. And the result is that we have in a very short time a very a quality, high quality food because there's only a short time up to a certain temperature, not a long time spilling uh, nutrients at 100 degrees, but in short time the meal is ready. Can you give some examples of how this would work in effect? Mm -hmm. Meat, normal, normal meat uh, or chicken or uh, it takes only a, a from raw we put it into the unit in, in a small pan, we put it in the docking station, we say start at five, between five and 15 seconds later, it's ready and it's superior quality. So that's, that's, that's the difference. Uh, uh, so meat, fish, vegetable, potatoes, it can go very, very quick. This means that in practice uh, we start uh, on demand, cooking on demand, uh, we take only the amount we want and when we appreciate to have uh, one more then it takes only 15 seconds, 30 seconds to have the next, the second, the second volume. So this will change the world in the, in the restaurants but also after a few years private. Okay, and Hans can you, um, can you tell me then what, what are the business plans, how do you anticipate this will, this will so-called change the world? Yeah, the change is that we are at the beginning of a really revolution in cooking. So we even don't know at the moment where it will go through. We will work, let's say, for instance, with the cooks to see what is new. What then can they make meals which they cannot make on another way. So that's what the first step in making new products, in the quality of the products, but also understanding of, let's say, people who have to make meals, thousand meals a day. They can do it on a quicker way and have a logistic area but also on demand. If you are in a hospital and you don't want to eat exactly at 12 o'clock, but at your time, it's possible now to do it at the moment he or she likes it. And also in the industry, but finally in the households too. So at this moment, we don't know yet where it will go to. And we will be only in the beginning of this innovation and we will be, we will be part of the innovation of yeah. the parties who are interested. And they will pick it up as their innovation. Who is using it at the moment? At the moment, it's only us, in, 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 uh, together with the University of uh, Wageningen. Mm -hmm. They are important for us for the scientific background. So we work very closely with each other and interact. So they give the scientific basis, which we put into our equipment to see the result. And again, we discuss the results with them too. And then it goes from that point to every research and development organization at the moment. And you really anticipate that in the future this may really enter mainstream kitchens? Yeah. I'm sure, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. And I don't know uh, when, so it can <laughs> be uh, four or five years or six years, I don't know. Um, what I'm seeing today is when people like it and they believe in the business case that a lot is possible. Okay. And what are, what are your next steps now? My next step mm -hmm. is that I'm really, uh, I cannot find anything in literature, so I have to develop all my own stories. So I co will continue by using more products to uh, put into the system to see what happens and make people more enthusiastic in the different areas in meat, in fish, in vegetables, in whatever other product. And could it also be used at an industrial level in the food industry? Even there we have uh, some ideas about industrial uh, products that you can have mainstream products uh, because one of the big uh, important positive points is the uh, heating of the product is really all over the same. So a lot of people are very hesitating about the center of such a product to have enough heat. We don't have this problem, it's everywhere the same temperature. Okay. Govert and Hans, thank you very much. You're welcome.